it's going to get colder. Colder. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it, it, today. Yeah, it toned yeah. down a bit. It got a little warm, but today yeah, it was fun. windy. It was very windy, and it's going to continue to be that yeah. way all through the night. You know, we were nearly 60 degrees when we woke up this morning. I can't believe that. Now we're back down into the 30s. Some of you in the 20s. We're talking about some snow chances in the forecast. It is January. It should start feeling like it, right? Let's no. walk over and show you what's happening right now outside. We don't have a whole lot happening tonight. In fact, we'll see some clearing skies. The winds won't lighten up, though. We know that. But at least we'll have a chance to dry out after all that rain that we had this past week. I do want to talk really quickly about the coastal flood warning that is still in effect for really the next 45 minutes or so. And this will include Philadelphia all over toward Tom's River. Of course, some of the rivers, streets, streams, all of that will continue to be on the higher side. We've already seen the Delaware cresting. Washington Avenue here in Philadelphia, Burlington uh, County. So we're going to be looking at that continuing to receive seed, but still, this has been a rough week for the rivers, the streams, the creeks, and of course, along the Jersey Shore. Now, overnight, as I said, it's going to be clear, but tomorrow morning, I do want to point out that we're going to see some increase in clouds and a quick chance for a snow squall. It's not something we see here very often, but it's basically a quick moving front that will be moving through. It's going to spark off a couple of snow showers out west. And yes, over toward the Poconos, there is the possibility for some light accumulation. Here in the city, it's going to move through really quickly, but it's going to be a really heavy burst of snow. So between the hours of 11 a.m. and 12 p.m., it may look kind of bad, but it's quickly going to move to the east. In fact, we'll already see the sunshine start to move in by the time we get to about 1 o'clock, just a lot, about an hour or later. And besides, the temperatures will be above freezing by tomorrow afternoon, so it'll be too warm for it to be really anything significant. But that combination of a quick little burst of flurries and snow showers and a wind that will continue to gust even overnight, it's going to look probably a lot worse than it is tomorrow afternoon. We wake up with wind gusts between 10 and 15, but look for the afternoon 35 to 40 mile per hour wind gusts, even higher, especially down the shore as we head into your Sunday afternoon. That said, Tomorrow squalls, just a very light coating for the city, possible grassy surfaces, things like that. Some higher amounts in the mountains and in the Jersey Shore, around the Jersey Shore, a quick mix changing terrain. It's very light as it moves across Jersey and then out to sea. Beyond that, our top headline is Monday. Starting Monday, the coldest air that we've seen all season starts to move in. It's an Arctic chill all the way through Tuesday, reinforces for Wednesday into Thursday, and even by next weekend, we could be even colder. So get ready because this is going to be a very cold period coming up. And for Monday night, we'll see increase in clouds, and by Tuesday, a chance, a chance for a little bit of snow moving in. It's a system that most likely will move out to sea, but we could potentially get at least a couple of hours in Tuesday of at least a few snow showers with some light accumulations. And while it's a little too early to talk about how much, it doesn't look like it's much. But again, a little taste of snow. We're going to have that little taste as we head into the day tomorrow. On Sunday, again, a couple of morning sh snow showers, maybe rain just to the east of Philadelphia. Again, it's going to be a quick squall. Jersey Shore 46, 37 in the Lehigh Valley. Seven day forecast. Notice I do have some next weather alert days. This is for Wednesday and Thursday. Look at the overnight lows only in the teens, high temperatures in the 20s and 30s at best. And with that wind, it'll feel like the 20s all day long. No big warm up in sight. But we will remain relatively dry Wednesday, Thursday, and maybe a couple of flurries and snow showers by Friday.